Hey everybody, it's Steve with Sky194 and I appreciate you taking the time to visit and check out my video. And we're back here in ACC in the US competition server. And we're here at Masano in wet conditions. <laughs> so I got uh, Antonio right there at third. But other than that, not really recognize too many people. Smaller field. A little bit bigger earlier, but I guess some people just stopped. Green light, green light. Go, go, go. Car on the right. Clear on the right. Come on! Car on the right. Clear on the right. Car on the right. Clear on the right. And hit that bump every single time. Not one issue. All of a sudden I hit it this time and the car just jumps all over the place. Wow. No pit stop, so I can see how the tires will last. I tried to race in a race yesterday at Imola in the competition server, but that didn't go good. I was in the BMW M4. Again, twice now, I've had great setups for the BMW at, at Imola and here with the AMG and it's wet. <laughs> Very discouraging. I mean, I really think Solid, solid uh, setups, and I gotta end up making some kind of hodgepodge setup for the rain. bad thing about the US competition server you just don't know what the weather's gonna be so you know at least one thing I like about LFM is you can you don't know exactly but you got a good chance of knowing what it's gonna be. Eh, it's just the way it goes. Just gotta roll with it.
really good pace. all over.
Trying to be consistent. Not overdo the tires. my delta so not catching the guy you know leading but Plugging away, trying to be as consistent as I can. Not overdoing the tires. I remember break early there.
should have went with the softer front spring. But I just really, really didn't do much. I just threw an extra click of wing in it, and that was it. Oh, I took some of the negative camber out, too. Just a few clicks. That's it. The balance of the setup is still a dry setup. You know, just kind of a hybrid hybrid setup type thing. You know, I definitely could have done a few more things to make it better in the rain. I didn't know if it was going to stay raining or what, but fair to be wet. One click of TC out, see if it helps at all or no. Maybe it might hurt. I don't. I, think, I don't know. Yeah, that's it. the other one. Especially with no pit stop, I, I want to make sure I don't overdo the tires, so I don't want to rip them off and make them to where I can't even hardly drive around here by the end. Good times.
probably got one of the best uh, trash controls, especially for rain. AMGs, not that good. It's okay, it's okay, but you know, a lot of guys I know say this is the worst, but I mean, I don't, I don't know about that. It will never really bother me too much. Probably could get more performance out of it, and we could stay off the, be smoother with the TC and stuff like that. So you know, but I mean, I don't, you know, for the most part, I've had a lot of races in the rain where it's you know, decent. But yeah, it definitely needs improvement, that's for sure. Gotta love the sound of the AMG though. I never get tired of that. Steady, just drizzle or not drizzle, but just a light rain. Yeah, I can, you know, give you all the wet or the dry setup too. Trust me, it's a it's a really good one. <laughs> I think it is for me. Go over that setup too. I mean, it was 
couple drive throughs. I was running uh, like a 30. There's a car leaving the pit lane, watch out. Running like 3480s with a fuel with a like 80 liter fuel load, so I think that was really good. I mean, I think I had 70 liters on at the time, but started with 80 liters, a little over, and I was running 3480s. So, I, and for me, that's pretty good. So, it was solid. I mean, it was that type where you could. Put the car anywhere you wanted. You could just felt like it was on rails and just push it and just do whatever you want to do. So I really, it, I was really looking forward, even though we didn't have a pit stop, just to see how how it performed. But I say the rain kind of blew that away. had a drive through What the heck? Oh, he must have went out of bounds. Could have got a decent finish drive through. Wasn't even paying attention, so I looked and saw drive throughs like, what the heck? Like I said, I'm just kind of cruising, doing my thing. because he was running great times. I was going to say it was a good looking Ferrari too. BMW driver back there, he's not too far back. Both 
closing in on me a little bit. Delta. Delta. Not so far off. Taking it too easy. <laughs> running like mega wide every single turn.
on the left. Thank you. Stayed right around the same pressure, so that's good. Right near my Delta. It's pretty good, almost the end of the race. BMW still back there. Really great car in the rain.
got two cars I like in the rain. BMW is really good in the Porsche. Probably my favorite car in the rain is the Porsche. Left it on the dry map. I never even took it off the uh, dry. The uh, put it on a wet map. I just left it on map one. <laughs> All right, you're the final leg is Nita. Bring it home. Figured I'd change it on as if it was really bad or something, or just spinning all over. I I change it, but it hasn't been that bad. The only time it spins really bad is in first, like that. I mean, it just that's about it. Other than that, it's all right. It's fine. Oh, somebody ran out of gas. Oh no, he's still third. The guy in the he didn't quit. He's still third. Oh, I'm glad he didn't quit. There he is. But I was say he's got it. You know, drive through. He's still finishing good. But he's, Yes, I think. Excellent job, man. All right. Nice. Bring it back. Woo! I'll take the win. Good race. Some fun battles there with Antonio in the in that start. Great pace for him. Yeah, he had great pace in Ferrari. Um, even the BMW was good. It's too bad he had a out of bounds or whatever. I mean, 
mean, I guess that's, I'm sure that's had to be what it was. But, um, let's go over the setup. Okay, now this is going to be my wet setup. So, of course, I just had 27 and a half for the tires, which was perfect to see about 19 degrees, 19 C. Um, you got toes negative 0.2, cambers negative 3.2, casters 11. Toe on the rear is positive 0.1 with camber at negative 2.8. Um, and like I said, I'll make this a wet setup. Electronics are 8 and 10. I did go up to 9 in the race, so you can just choose what you would like. But again, I just kept it on the one map. Um, fuel... I just had the number two brake pad, and uh, I had 78 liters because I just cut a few. I cut a little bit off because you don't need to need so much in the rain. Mechanical had seven on the anti roll bar, 54 on the brake bias, which I turned way down, all the way down to 50. Which in the rain, yeah, again, that's what you want. A lot more rear brake in the rain. Steering's all the way down. Springs are 143,000 with a bump stop rate of 600 and a bump stop range of three. And on the rear, the springs are 119,000. With a bump stop rate of 900 and a bump stop range of 20. Any roll bars 4 and the preload on the diff is 70. Now here, I probably would have taken some anti roll bar out. I would probably would take one or two more clicks out. Um, and definitely go down probably one click all the way around. If it was a you know more of a full wet. Or, you know, especially this kind of wet. I'd probably go click all the way down on the springs. But... That was something I'd try. I think it would work good. Shocks on the front are one. On the left front, it's one, two, eight, nine. And on the right front, it's one, four, seven, nine. On the rear, it is on the left rear, it's one, one, two, ten. And on the right rear, it's one, one, two, nine. Again, all dialed in by Motec. Um, so, again, just I think uh, actually these come out really good. Arrow got 47 in the front, 73 in the rear with a 10 wing, a 9 splitter, and a 4 and a 3 in the brake ducts. So again, you know, I mean, for wet, I probably would it would cut that to a 3 and 3 or 3 and 2 and adjust the tire pressures accordingly um, to keep more heat in the brakes. But again, this really is kind of a mixture um, like this, maybe a wet, dry type setup. Uh, something like that. You could even probably go with the nine wing, which is my dr totally dry setup. Instead of going up a click, you might be able to get away with just, you know, if it's like this, if it's just kind of wet, but it's not like puddle, puddle wet, you probably could get away with a nine wing instead of a 10. But then just, you know, those are suggestions to keep in mind. So again, I'll make this a setup um, and I'll put under, you know, uh, um, WD wet and dry or something like that. I'll put next to the setup and next to the number. I'll put WD. Um, so that's that. And then the dry setup, which I will make a setup also. Um, I got 24.8 left front, 25.1 left rear, 25.9 right front and right rear. The toe's negative 0.2 on the front with the camber at negative 3.5 on the left front. Negative 3.3 on the right front with the caster at 11. The toe on the rear is a positive 0.1 with the camber at negative 3.1 on the left rear and negative 3 on the right rear. Electronics are 4 and 3 and 1. Of course, fuel uh, is like running about 82 or 80, 83 liters just to be safe. A little bit extra. Mechanical, 7 on the anti-roll bar, 54 on the brake bias. Steering's all the way down. Springs are 143,000 on the front with a bump stop rate of 600 and a bump stop range of 3. And again, on the rear, springs are 119,000 with a bump stop rate of 900 and a bump stop range of 20. Anti-roll bar's 4, and the preload on the diff is 70. So again, all this is the same. I didn't change anything. So again, that's all dry. Same with the shocks on the right, left front, 1, 2, 8, 9. And on the right front, 1, 4, 7, 9. Left rear is 1, 1, 2, 10. And on the right rear is 1, 1, 2, 9. So again, all those are the same too. Didn't do anything. They, they seem so good over bumps and stuff, especially when they're at speed. It's actually taking the bumps worse in the rain. I don't know, I guess probably because I'm going over them slower. 
Um, you know, my, your guess is as good as mine, but it definitely, at speed, it was just, I mean, it was really good over the bumps. Uh, Arrow, 47 in the front, 73 in the rear with a 9 wing, 9 splitter, 4 and a 3 to break duck. So pretty much everything's the same, exa ex again, except for the 9 wing instead of the 10. And the front arrow variation is a negative 0.3. But I was really happy. Um, again, just in case you missed it, um, I was running high 34s, like 34 eights, with a uh, starting out with 80 plus liters, like 82 liters of fuel load, and I still had 70 something liters in it, and I'm still running 34 eights. So to me, that's pretty good for me. Um, so I'm you looking, know, you know, lower, you know, lower fuel and things like that. Refreshed tires, I'm sure it'll go definitely faster. But it was really good, and I mean, it was. I can tell. I mean, I can tell because you get the car could just go anywhere you wanted to go over the bumps. It could just anything you wanted to do, it do it. So a, definitely a solid race package. So again, I'll make both of those a setup, and they'll be in. The, there'll be links in the description for everybody who wants it that way. You know, for a rain, and I'll mark them so you know which one. Like I said, the rain will be a WD for wet and dry, and the other one will just be normal. So you know which one's which. And, of course, I have a PayPal link down there also if you want to help support the channel that way, which is great. I appreciate it. Um, and, of course, if you just like it, subscribe, watch this whole video. You know, all those things are support, too. So, again, thank you very much for any of those or all those. I really appreciate it. Um, and always, always welcome to all, you know, we get a lot of new subscribers all the time. So I just want to say, you know, welcome to all y'all. And, I mean, y'all just part of the family. And, like I said, comments and feedback. I love talking to all my sim racing friends. Um, it's great talking to people all over the world. I mean, just everywhere. It's just, it really blows me away. And I just, it's awesome. I enjoy it. Just to know that everybody can be from different areas, you know, different nationalities, different everything. And we just have the same, uh, you know, same interests and stuff, and I just think it's really cool, and I, I just enjoy it. So, again, um, I sure hope you enjoyed the video. It wasn't the great, you know, most exciting races, but I'll take it, especially a win. I'll take it every way I can get it. So, um, again, I hope you come back, and uh, you visit again really soon. Y'all take care. See you.